Friday night, Riverdale Warriors handed it to Oak Ridge, 35 to 10. The year before, when they got put out by Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge came out saying they just had more heart. That's why they wanted this game. Well, Friday night, Riverdale proved that they are the ones that had more heart. They came out in the first quarter and opened up a huge 21-0 lead. Then Oak Ridge rallied and scored 10 unanswered. I was I was getting nervous, but in the end, Riverdale just their defense proved to be way too much for Oak Ridge. They had a, I mean, pretty decent football team. But fourth quarter, Riverdale suffers a huge injury at quarterback. Uh, Dylan Woodruff's out. They found out on Monday he's going to be out for the year. He tore his ACL and his MCL. Gosh, what can you say? That's just that's a tough injury to take. It was late in the game. I, from what I saw, he had hurt it on a previous play, two or three plays before. And then I didn't really see what happened, but. So they're just going to have to move on. The senior quarterback that's coming in, he's played some games on defense this year, but he's never won, he's not got a start on offense, and they're going to need it because this week, Friday night, Riverdale travels to Maryville, number one versus number two. Maryville's coming on the best team in the state. I'd say they've proved it all year. Um, although I don't think they've played a team like Riverdale. They – they haven't given up over seven points in twelve out of or eleven out of thirteen games. It's pretty unbelievable. Alcoa and William Blunt are the only teams to score more than seven points. Now I think and the one thing that you I've noticed about Maryville, they always jump out to a huge lead. River uh, Riverdale went up there in two thousand nine, boom, just like that, down twenty one nothing. They finally they made a push at the end, but you just you can't start out twenty one nothing and expect to win. It's gonna be a gosh. They've just they've got to find a way to overcome Maryville's first knockout blow in the first half. If we can keep it close, yeah, we suffered a huge injury because uh, the wing T offense he's run that ate a lot runs at Riverdale. You've got to have somebody that's experienced to run that position. Other, And he's not going to change his game plan. I mean, Adam Davenport at number five at running back, they could probably hand the ball off to him 30 times in uh, this game and get a lot of yards, but I know that's not what he's going to do. So you just got to find a way to win. You just got to do what it takes, find a way to win. You're one game away from the state championship. They had to travel up there in 09. Just don't let it happen again. Don't lose. Don't travel all that way and lose. It's time for the defense to step up. Defense has got to force some turnovers, but overall I think it'll be a real, real good game. You've got the two powerhouses from 6A playing. This could be a game that probably should be the state championship, but we'll take it. You just It's the semifinals, final four. So I think I'm probably going to end up going to this game. I know it'll be quite a drive, but I just I had to, I watched them get beat in Maryville two years ago, and I'm ready for some redemption. So. Score prediction, this is going to be a very close game. A defensive struggle, I I wouldn't say it would be. I'm thinking like 35-31 Riverdale. So hopefully we can get the win, move on to the Blue Cross Bowl. Go Warriors.